Well, good morning and uh, welcome to my daily reflections. It's Friday the 24th of March and this morning I did some filming outside but the sound was quite, uh, the wind was quite breezy this morning so uh, the mic picked up every noise so I've decided to come back and, and uh, record it here. So um, today we're looking at John 14, 15 to 18. Um, and, you know, it says in that, it says, If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. And you know, this is such a wonderful promise, you know, Jesus is actually promising to us that there will, you know, when he goes, he won't just be here physically, he won't be here physically anymore, but he will send the person of the Holy Spirit and he will be with us forever, always. He will live with us and he will explain to us things. You know, as we've been going through this, uh, John 14, it's such, such a wonderful truth here. And, uh, and as I was walking along this morning, I was just thinking, wow, what a, what a beautiful, beautiful sunrise. And they've got a fantastic opportunity of a new day today. And knowing that the Holy Spirit, the person of the Holy Spirit is with us, is such an important role. I think that today, if we can think about the things that we have today, and just remember, you're not alone. Uh, there's always someone with you, you know the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's just such a powerful thought. And I'm just wondering whether today some of you are thinking, oh, I wonder what my day is going to be like. How, how am I going to manage today? Um, are people around me going to be giving me so much stress that I can't cope? Well, just remember that you are comforted by the presence of the Holy Spirit. And... Uh, and you will be able to um, have be part of that community. Just like the sunrise this morning. It's like this is a new day, a new approach to our day. And uh, you know, the, what's even more wonderful is that he's given us each other as well. You know, each of us, then we get to know that in this community, this Trinity community, and we, we know that we've been saved because Jesus paid the price. Then we have community amongst ourselves. So have a great day today, and uh, I, I pray that your day will go well, and that you remember that you are part of this wonderful circle of community that will guide and help you throughout your day.